Number three, what did we learn today? Oh, what did we learn today? You want to try? Third application. What did we learn today that applies to us? You want me to tell you? We can be wrong. <laughs> yes. Oh. Boy, that's a revelation. <laughs> wow. That's me. We I, can be wrong. I've been wrong. I think there's a book called uh, I Was uh -huh. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's a good title because it's not I am wrong. It's I was wrong. Before I started this sermon, I was already wrong. We can be wrong. You need to admit that. If you want to go forward in life, I don't care how old you are. I don't care how much status you have, social status, financial status. You can be wrong. Elon Musk can be wrong. Oh, well, he can, he can pinpoint a rocket landing, you know, back. Yeah, but you can be wrong about eternity. You can be wrong. Don't hold on to cherished mistakes. Don't hold on to cherished assumptions. The first step to salvation for any man, woman, and child is to admit, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. The first step to the restoration of any ministry is to say, I'm wrong. Are you willing to admit to God that I'm wrong? I've sinned, and I need salvation. If you can do that, that, if you know you're wrong about something and it's messing your life up, then what I want you to do is not to go to an ugly God. Don't go to a stone or a piece of wood, but go to a beautiful God. Beautiful in his thoughts. Beautiful in his thoughts towards you. And this God knows all your secrets and yet keeps them all sealed. He says he will throw all your sins into the sea of forgetfulness, into oblivion. Everything the judge knows, everything the police knows, everything the family members know, he'll wash it all under the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. But you've got to admit, that's hard. You've got to sometimes say, at least to God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Before the, the year turns, before the clock turns, I'm really sorry, God. So I want to invite you that you're listening right now. God brought you here because I know you could have been on any other channel. And I want you to say sorry to God, but not just keep it there. Receive his son as your savior so that the new year will truly be new in the sense that a new you goes into a new year. If an old you goes into a new year, it still just stinks. It's going to be as hard and stressful as before. You know, the turning of the calendar, the turning of that page doesn't change you, but Jesus will change you. So if you're ready, pray this with me. It's a prayer that I prayed a couple of decades ago, three decades ago, and it saved me, changed me. So I want you to pray that sincerely to God. Don't think about anybody else around you. Close your eyes, that will help. And say, Dear Heavenly Father, yeah, say it loud enough that you can hear your voice in your own ears. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I was wrong about God. I was wrong about Jesus. I was wrong about my own life. I repent from all my sins. And I turn to Jesus, the only Savior. Please save me. I believe you died on the cross to pay for my sins. And I believe after three days, you rose again. You're alive. I open my heart. Come dwell in me. Lead me. Be my Lord. Be my King. And before you come back again, use my life. Give me a purpose. I need meaning in my life. Help me, Lord. I'm yours from this day forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. If you just did that, you became born again. You're part of the family of God. Amen. Please give those who have just come into the kingdom a hand. <laughs>